Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is a general reading for the end of February 2021. Hope you guys are doing well. I have a new card deck here, Tattoo Tarot. We'll take a look and see what messages come forward for you. Messages of light and love for Scorpio. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate completely with every single one of you. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Also hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well. It helps get the messages out to people who need to hear it, so I really appreciate it. Let's see what we have coming in for Scorpio, February 2021. Messages of light and love for Scorpio. First card out, we have the Nine of Wands, okay? Some of you here are protecting your heart here as you try to put yourself out there. Possibly a lot of you are single in the dating pool trying to figure out uh, who to meet next. We have the Seven of Wands here, okay? Some people here uh, are trying to defend their heart, protecting their heart space here. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. This one right here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, connecting with an earth sign possibly. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so this has to do with your stability. Okay, a lot of you want to be in a relationship with someone who is going to provide some level of comfort, security, stability in your life. A lot of you here are looking at um, buying a home or purchasing a home that will bring in um, more of that stability that you seek. A lot of you here are still thinking about a past person or somebody here coming for this Queen of Pentacles. Let's get some clarity around this individual. This person, um, maybe somebody who's already in your life could be a new person coming towards you here or this could be you Scorpio um, finding comfort and financial abundance stability I think a lot of you feel uneasy on your feet not feeling like you're completely at home not feeling like it just feels like you're you're wanting something here you're wanting um, that love connection Wanting to be in a relationship as well. But having to defend yourself here. What is this seven of wands doing here, spirit? Having to stand up for yourself in some way. Defend yourself. We have the page of pentacles here, okay? What else, spirit? Possibly having to do with your kids. If you have kids, you may be having to... Um, possibly arguing with you know your your child's parent your other parent six of pentacles this has to do with um some kind of needing to partner with partner up with someone here working together for the good of the children take this how it resonates for your specific situation it may having to um if you are in a relationship with someone here there's a test here to work together with each other Four of Wands coming out again, okay? Possible stability in your home life has been um, has been the problem in the last, well, this month, okay? Four of Wands coming out twice, okay? So needing to feel a balance in your relationship, needing to feel like the rug isn't going to be pulled out from under you here is the feeling I'm getting. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio. We have an Eight of Pentacles here. Feeling like you want to focus on your work, focus on your financial stability, wanting to make more money. We have the Queen of Swords here, okay? So a lot of you here may be dealing with multiple people in the workplace here. We have a Queen of Swords energy. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. But then we have this Queen of Pentacles here. So you may be um, having to defend yourself, possibly butting heads with somebody here at work. This Queen of Swords energy here. Tell me more, Spirit. Possibly just several different people at work here that 
Um, somebody here is kind of cold toward you in the workplace. Feeling like you have to defend yourself towards this person. Yeah, they're kind of a little bit on the ice. They're a little bit ice cold, not really friendly to you. Three of Pentacles here. This has to do with some kind of work group. This is the challenge you're having to face here with these work colleagues here that are not easy to deal with. Yeah, perseverance and strength coming forward here with the strength card. Okay, these one person could be a Leo as well, but it just feels like you're having to um, learn to work together with these people in a way that is not going to... <laughs> these people are frustrating. They feel like they're trying to test you. They feel like they're trying to come at you a bit here. Um, this could be a love connection as well. But this work scenario here is really testing your ability to persevere. You almost want to throw in the towel and not hang out with these people anymore, okay? But you're looking for financial stability at the same time. So it's like you can't have it all, it feels like you're, um, which is so true. Like you figure out your home life and then the work life situation becomes a problem. So it's like always something that you're having to deal with, some kind of drama. Yikes. But, you know, this is the test here. Having to um, deal with or work with multiple different personalities here. Having to be patient with people. Having to um, be friendly and, and open your heart for connection with others. Trying to understand people and put up with their kind of behavior that's, like, not really that nice. Tell me more. We have the Four of Wands coming out here for the third time, okay? Um, but this this just tells me that you guys are really working towards a home, working towards your own stability, working towards um, purchasing, purchasing a home, and I feel like a lot of you may really need this work situation in order to get some kind of a loan approved here as well. Wanting to move to a nicer house, a bigger house, something like that. Um, that you're really feeling drawn to want to purchase or rent something nicer, bigger, enough room for you and possibly your family. Tell me more here, Spirit. We have the Two of Cups, okay? A lot of you wanting to be married, wanting to be in a commitment with somebody that you can build and grow on. Um, and just feeling like you, you know, if you're single, you're feeling like you're you just really want that special connection with somebody where there's going to be a partnership where you can build and grow together, establish a family, establish a home together. And that's really the pull that I hear, feel for you as well. This is the energy I'm feeling that you want. Um, but it seems like you keep coming up against things and people, situations, relationships, etc., that are keeping you from moving forward in the direction that you want, okay? <laughs> just feels like you're hitting a brick wall um, with each incident that happens. It's like something is successful here and then um, you have to <laughs> you have to pick up the pieces and, and take a different route because things aren't panning out the way that you expect them to, especially in this work situation. I think a lot of you here don't want to work with these people anymore, but you need this money and you need this security in your life. And so I think you're trying to put up with a lot of crap that you probably wouldn't have normally. And that's the feeling I'm getting here. Hmm. All right, Scorpio, I hope that helped you guys. Um, feel free to check out my website, faithconnection777.com. I give private readings. And uh, also hit that like button if this resonated with you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.